Through Building Bridges, we work with children, specifically in underserved, at-risk communities, using the arts, things like theater, visual arts, photojournalism, and even design thinking as of recently, to give children space to develop personal resilience and learn about uh, communal collaboration and coexistence. I endured racism as a child when I was growing up in Australia. And then when I moved to Sri Lanka, it was really engagement in the arts, theater specifically, that gave me a sense of healing. So we use the arts to engage with children, to give them the opportunity to explore a sense of self, as well as the opportunity to engage with others around difficult questions. We find that what's most successful is to work with children, a small number of children, over a long period of time. And up until now we've really struggled with that uh, vision um, because we consider it to be almost central to our, to our mode of operation. Having a series of workshops that allow children to grow over a long period of time. I think it really ha has to happen at a small level in some ways where you can create a safe space so that it doesn't spiral out of control but you can get children to start thinking differently uh, about themselves and about others. We are advocates for rethinking the education system, for thinking more deeply about what we um, teach our children at a very young age so that they can be more mature, loving, resilient, compassionate adults when they grow up. We've recently seen teachers become more and more interested in the workshops that we do after school for the children, partly because we've been around for so long with them. And what we're hoping to do is speak to interested teachers and engage, engage them in a training that allows them to work after school with the children and provide them with the resources, the materials, whatever it is that they need to continue the work that we do on a more long-term basis. I think there's a lot of pressure to be able to produce numbers, but the truth is that impact is a very slippery thing. You can work with five children, and then they might go home and tell their sisters or brothers about it. And so you're really having a bigger impact than the five children you worked with. And I think giving children the tools to be confident uh, about the lessons we're teaching them and confident about sharing those lessons is really what is key for us. Mm -hmm.